Welcome to another market update. It's May 1st, 2023. Uh, spring has officially arrived and somehow uh, winter has come along and just chased it right away again. <laughs> uh, it's super beautiful outside. Everywhere you go, there's flowers. Uh, it's been awesome. Real estate's been kind of like picking up a little bit uh, in our world. Anyway, I don't know. I haven't heard the stats lately. Kind of some super interesting news I hadn't heard also. I've been out of town this weekend, so I feel kind of out of the loop catching up. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. Should we do stats first with you, Heather, and then we'll Move on over to Ken. I'm always ready for stats. Always ready for stats. Okay, Are here we go. Are you ready for stats? Ready. We're, We're ready. always ready for stats. <laughs> so prices continuing to rise, which is what we thought and what we talked about last month, but pretty surprising how much ground we made up in such a quick amount of time. So our median home price is up to 851 now. And our peak last year was May of 2022. That was the absolute height of the market. We started seeing some price depreciation after that, and that went on for eight months. And now, in just a matter of a couple of months, we're almost back up to where we were. You know, we're only $18,000 away from crossing back over a, a year, year over year appreciation. Um, should happen. Eight months. That surprises month. me to hear, to hear that. It seems long for some reason. It seems like it was shorter than that. So we went eight months depreciation. Now we're two months back up and almost back to where we were. Yeah. Wow. And should be back to where we were by the end of this month. Okay. Uh, we also saw the data from the California Association of Realtors come out for March. So that's lagging information. It takes, them a, it takes the California Association of Realtors longer to do their sets than it takes the Rota team and Ken Neat to do their sets, just saying. Um, but yeah, they have a little bit more to compile there. So um, their data showed a month over month increase in price overall for the state. But Northern California is still in price depreciation, the far north. Uh, inland and Southern California, just a little smidge of appreciation. And then the two areas that we saw quite a bit of increase was the Bay Area and the Central Coast. So we got named as one of the two top areas by the California Association of Realtors for price increase. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've been discovered. Yeah. We've been discovered. Not shocking. Yeah. So the other stats, uh, not quite as exciting. Inventory, days on market, um, number of closings, all no big changes there. We had 177 closings. We had 216 new listings. So um, that made the inventory stat pick up just a smidge. But still feels like there's nothing out there. And our most recent listing, uh, Palm Desert, 913 Palm Desert, we within a week had eight offers and all wow. eight offers were over over asking yes. partially due to con's work with <laughs> staging and cleaning of that house but the best best possible <laughs> scenario with the clients <laughs> so still still really low inventory that's what's driving the prices uh, we do also expect that may is going to bring further price increase and currently even though we only had 177 closings last month, currently under contract properties, according to the Central or the California Regional MLS, which is where we pull all of our stats, uh, there are 335 properties that are under contract. So we do expect the volume to go up as well. So what's happening in the lending world, Ken? Uh, there was a little news over the weekend um, from the Silicon Valley Bank fallout. First Republic Bank was taken over this weekend, seized by the government, and now is part of JP Morgan. Um, the Fed's going to meet this week, and they were already planning or everybody predicting that they were going to raise again a quarter point. Some people disagreeing with that, but now after this bank failure, the quarter point's pretty much a lock is what everybody believes now. Um, that's already priced into mortgages. So the damage is already done, so to speak, and rates have gone the wrong way slightly recently. So I am seeing things in the high sixes, low sevens, which is up a little bit. Um, the next thing on the calendar, in the absence of news that we're looking for to help rates, is on May 10th, the CPI report, which measures inflation. They will compare it to the previous year, same month. So they'll be looking at May's numbers in 22 and doing that year over year analysis. And the hypothesis or the guess is that it's going to be in our favor and rates will react positively or go down based on that, at least start to go the right direction. So we do feel like we've crested and 
had the worst, but you know, we just stumbled a little bit here in the last week and haven't got to where we'd all like to be. What are you seeing with your buyers that are making offers? Are you seeing multiple offers on just about everything? I am. So it's taken away the buy down strategy that we were having fun with for a little bit because it's hard to ask for credit to you know, yeah. compete with other buyers. So I'm seeing less of that strategy, um, but just overall more competition and, and now you know more new files, more new pre-approvals, not so much new transactions because we're waiting for some inventory, but definitely a lot more activity on yeah. The new buyer front. Yeah. Working with sellers, the reception to the buy down strategy when you have the only offer is very different from what we're seeing now. What now exactly. after five offers to choose from. What? That buyer wants me to pay I, for their dare, piece? How dare you. That's right. <laughs> it's super easy to feel that way as yeah. a seller when you have other offers to choose from That's that are exactly not asking right. for that. So I I'm I'm not seeing that. I don't think we saw that strategy even requested by I think it's been a couple offers. months for me. I yeah. think it's been about two months. So Ken just mentioned rate buy down. And if you don't know what that is, we're not going to take the time to explain what it is right now, but feel free to give myself, Ken or Heather a call because it's, it still could work. You know, there are still are properties out there that are only going to get maybe one or two offers. And so it still is, might be a viable strategy. And of course, we're always happy to update you on what strategies actually are working right now as well. So. So that does it for now, unless either of you have anything more to add. Yeah, so if you have some time, make sure to get out and see the last of the uh, flower bloom out there. And uh, yeah, give us a call if you need anything at all. We'll see you in June. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.